So now let us just go through the process of okay, how would you figure out you know the weight like what, what would be mm. your algorithm okay. right. Okay. Because again you do not know what the what the yes. weight is right. So would you start by saying okay let me put 1 kg then 2 kg, 3 kg. So I am going to complicate this problem for you further by yes. saying you should do minimum number of ah, weighing checks. Okay. 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 Ah. okay. So my initial instinct yeah. is to say that the weight is unknown. It yeah. can be anywhere from 1 kilo to 15 kilos. Yes. Now if I start from let us say start counting from 0, 1, 2 and so on. If the weight were actually 14 yes. or 15, yes. I will get it only on the 14th or 15th try. Exactly. Okay. Then my instinct is to start counting backwards. Okay. But then <laughs> if the weight were 1 kilo, I would be getting it on the 15th try again. Exactly. That is not going to help. Okay. Yeah. Right. Perfect. So uh, I need to figure out a way where I can kind of somewhere in between, I, I kind of, I should start somewhere in between maybe. Okay. Yeah. Let us try exactly halfway. Half. Right. I tried starting from bottom to uh, going up yeah. and coming down. That did not work. Try from Half the middle. Eight. Okay. So right? 8. 8. You will try an 8 kg. So at yes. the B3, yes. you will place a 1 kg. I will place a 1 kg. Now it could be, it could be 8 kg in which case you are done. I am done. Right. Correct. Or it could be lighter or heavier. Yes. Right. If it is heavier. Yes. If it is heavier, the scale would tip on this side. Yes. Ah, then. Of course, now I, my initial instinct again is to go down from 8 to 7. Yes. Which means I put 1s on all this, all yes. of these. Yeah. But the same problem exists. Exactly. Because um, from 8, if the weight were 1 kilo, yeah. I would be counting down 1 by 1. Exactly. I should do the same thing that I did last time. Yes. Go to the midpoint. Go to the midpoint for again. the next. So, for you have now, next. so now you have fixed you know that the weight is greater than 8 yes. and therefore you are now searching for the answer in 8 to 15. Yes. Right or Correct. rather 9 to 15. 9 to 15. Actually. Okay. Correct. So therefore now you are saying you will go and place 1, one kg in B2. In B2. In B2. In B2. Right. Okay. So essentially the first, so if I were to just write this as an algorithm, right, if W is uh, or W is, no, what did we say? We said, ah, one second. <laughs> what we said was, we will the put weight first down. Weight, weight down B3. Yeah. We put yeah. a weight on B3. Yes. And if it goes down. If it goes down, if this side goes down, th that is B3 goes B3 down. B3 goes down, it then the weight is too light. Light, I exactly. Have to go down. You have to go down, yes. right? Exactly. So therefore, yeah, if W is less than 8 kg. Yes. Okay. Then, then I have to remove B3. Exactly. Right? That is yes. important. Yes. Otherwise, anything I add will only make it increase. Increase. Okay. So, so you I remove B3. So in other words, I, the digit has to be set to 0, I would think. Exactly. So right? if it is this thing, it implies B3 is 0. Yes. Right? Yes. But if the weight is more than 8 kg. Yes. Right? Else, right? B3 has to be 1. Yes. You need at least 8 kg weight there now to measure it. Correct. Right. Now what you do, you know it is, let us say it is lesser. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you therefore do the same thing with B2. Do the same thing with B2 because again, instead of counting from 1 to 15, I have now converted the problem to counting from 1, one to, to 7. 7. Exactly. Right. But I have the same problem. I cannot start from either end. Yeah. Midpoint. Midpoint. Which is 4. 4. Right. So therefore you place something on B2. Yes. So here now, right. So if it is B3 is 0, yes. you again say if… Oh, it is branching into multiple paths now. Exactly. Right. If okay. B2 happens to be 1, yes. right. And right, so that is, so when you place, if you, when you remove B3 and put B2, we are now looking at if W is greater than 4 kg or not. Correct. Right. Correct. So here, if W is less than 4 kg. Yes. Okay. Then B2 would be set to 0. Yes. Implies B2 is equal to 0. If W is greater than or equal to 4 kg, implies B2 equal to 1. Yes. Okay. So you continue this process. Right. right. And then you do it for B1. B1. Then you do it for B0. Yes. Right. So eventually you just do this 
you know and this is what we saw even in that flash adc that's right right if you remember right that's we right. are going to just search for the binary answer right correct, rather correct. than you are uh, this thing figuring out the point where it turns from 1 to 0 1 to 1 to 0 right correct. exactly okay so that binary search algorithm you apply here you will get the binary representation of uh, an integer right so you take any integer now i you can represent it by a sequence of numbers b n minus 1 b n minus 2 b 0 okay and this is called an n bit binary number right now each so this one each of these okay each b k can take only two values 0 mm-hmm. or either the 1 kg weight is there in that position or it is not there yes. right that's all so essentially this these values you can store and process in a digital computer mm, i see okay okay so whatever we spoke about the dram the cache and all that these can store sequences of binary bits. numbers basically bits. bits exactly i see okay. right and if this n happens to be 8 then it has a special name it's a byte it's a byte it's a I byte okay. Okay. okay if n is 16 it's a word it's a word if okay. n is 32 it's called a d word double word double word right so typically uh, the uh, instructions in a microprocessor or even the data that is stored in the memory will they will describe in terms of bytes words I and see. d words i see and now uh, i see that lot of microprocessors are saying uh, advertising a 64 bit exactly so right? that's You know, okay. you can you can keep going you can higher, keep going and, higher, higher and, and higher and higher as you right? exactly okay okay so just let's you know before we get into the representation in a computer so if i take a number right integer and represent it as b k 2 power k right k equal to 0 to n minus 1 okay an n bit number mm-hmm. what's the what do you think is the minimum value and maximum value of this mm. representation okay So the minimum value is of course all bits being zero. All zeros. All right? zeros. So min is b k equal to zero for all k. Yes. Right. And then the integer value is just zero, no? Therefore i is just zero. Yes. Right. Now max value. Now everything is a positive number, right? Yes. Yeah. So therefore the b k equal to one. Exactly. B k equal to one for all k, which means you are doing two power zero. Plus two power one, plus two mm-hmm. power two, all the way to two power n minus one. This is a geometric series, yes, right? And therefore, it is two it power, is two power n minus one by two minus one. Minus the common one. ratio is two. Yes. So therefore, this is two power n minus one. Mm-hmm. So any binary number you can represent between zero to two power n minus one. Got it. So, which is why we we were able to count from zero to fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. I, I very carefully orchestrated that problem so that we got fifteen there, 15 right? right? Okay. Okay. So, in fact, that's also why you will see when we discuss the um, you know the discrete amplitude problem with the ADC, we arbitrarily chose one thirty one levels. Yes. Right. But typically, it will be a power of two. because of this reason because right because we reason. we you know it's a bi- we need a binary representation and therefore you will either do 128 levels right mm-hmm. or 256 levels i see okay right yeah 131 is an odd number but a, technically yeah. you can you can quantize to any integer so we just chose it at that point but for computer digital representations So this is called a digital representation, by the way. So mm. that's why the analog to digital converter, right? Yes. Till now we spoke about analog to discrete amplitude. Discrete amplitude. Now we can talk about digital because we can represent it as a binary number. As a binary number, right? So essentially, you know, you have 128 levels, right? Now 128 levels is zero, one, sorry, one, two, all the way to 127. Mm. right if you count yes. from 1 it's 128 levels including okay. zero right okay. and the 127 is 2 power uh 7, 7 minus 1 2 power 7 minus 1 therefore if i have 128 levels yes i can represent it with a 7 bit binary number 
Yes. Okay. If I needed 256 levels, mm -hmm. then I would need an 8 bit binary number. Yes. So, the ADCs and all that stuff that we talk about are also usually classified based on number of bits. Number of bits. Okay. So, a 7 bit ADC or an 8 bit exactly. ADC. Exactly. 8 bit ADC and so on. So, that is how we represent these numbers. Mm -hmm.